In this video today, I'm going to show you how to set up the USB modes on the Boss RC300. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Hey what's up, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rollins and this channel is all about live and looping. I upload three videos just like this every single week, so if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to set up the USB modes on the Boss RC300. We did this with the Boss RC505 way back in December 2019, and I thought it's time we did it for the Boss RC300. So let's just jump straight into the video. So there are two USB modes available on the Boss RC300. They are storage and audio. Now we're gonna take a look at both modes in today's video, and let's begin with storage. Now storage is the default mode that your Boss RC300 is going to be set to, and basically this is going to allow us to connect our Boss RC300 to our computer via USB, and we can then back up our Boss RC300 to our computer for peace of mind and safe keeping. We can also import samples from our computer onto the Boss RC300. This is a super handy feature, especially if you wanna run backing track elements with your looper pedal. You can create them in your DAWs on your computer, save them, and then import them onto your Boss RC300. Super duper easy. If you want a tutorial on how to import and back up your Boss RC300, let me know in the comment section down below and I can make that happen. Now storage mode on the Boss RC300 does not require a driver, so it means you can literally plug your Boss RC300 straight into your computer and you don't need to download anything, it's just going to work straight away. Now let's move on to mode number two, which is audio. Now audio is basically going to allow us to turn our Boss RC300 into an audio interface. Now unlike with storage mode where we don't require a USB driver, with audio mode we require a specific driver for our computer provided by Boss. So we are going to head over to the studio, boot up the laptop, and I'll show you how to set this up. Okay, so we're in the studio, I've got my laptop, we now just need to get our driver. So we're gonna boot up the internet, and we're gonna type in Boss RC300 driver in the Google search. Search for that, and you can see it comes up at the top of the search results. We're gonna to go to Boss's official website to download this. You don't wanna to go to any dodgy websites to get this driver. We're gonna go from Boss and Roland's official website so we know it's going to be relatively safe. So as you can see, when the website boots up, we have a variety of options that we can choose from. At the top, we have the Boss RC300 firmware update. If you wanna learn how to update the firmware on your Boss RC300, let me know in the comment section down below and I will put a video together for you all. Now, as you can see here, we have this Boss RC300 driver download. Now, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac, you'll download the required driver for that operating system. But you'll notice for the Mac versions especially, there are a variety of different operating system numbers. So we have Mac OS 10.15, etc. Now the way to find out on a Mac what version of operating system you are running, we are going to open up the little Apple menu here. And we're gonna to go to about this Mac. And then it's going to tell you what specification your MacBook is, but also what operating system you are running. So as you can see, I'm running 10.13.6. It's a pretty old Mac operating system I am running, but it has really great stability with all of my music equipment and I've not had any issues with it, so I've never wanted to upgrade because when I upgraded on my other Mac, everything stopped working and it made it pretty useless. So we are going to download the correct Boss RC300 driver to match this operating system number. So we are going to get the 10 point 13 driver which is seen over here so we're going to click on it so as you can see when this web browser loaded in we need a specific version of firmware or higher on our boss rc300 for this driver to work so again let me know in the comment section down below if you want that tutorial to show you how to update your firmware on your looper pedal but we're just going to download it anyway so i can show you the process of what you need to do so you know you'll read all the terms and conditions over here and then you will agree and you will download the driver. 
So while this driver is downloading onto my computer, let's head over to our Boss RC300 and take a look inside of the menus and I'll show you what settings we need to change. So to set up the USB modes we've discussed in today's video, we're gonna head into the system settings. We're going to continue to press system until we get to these USB options here. We're then gonna use the right arrow key and we are going to scroll until we get to USB mode. Now by default, it should probably be set to storage, which is the first mode we discussed in today's video. Now, if you wanna use it as an audio interface, which we were just setting up with the driver, we're simply just going to turn this knob to the right until it says audio. Now we can just exit out and because this is a system setting, it will save to our loop pedal automatically and be applied to all of the memory banks. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Consider subscribing and smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of those future videos from me here on the channel. Also, consider leaving me a like if you really, really enjoyed the video, just so I know. But thank you so much for watching. I've been Ben Rollins, and I will see you in the next one.